It was also the first day of school for students in the Santa Maria Joint Union High School District. KSBY photojournalist Jason Orr has a look. When you put this many teenagers together, they're bound to have some um, just growing up struggles. So I think one of the things that we do really well here at Santa Maria Joint is we make sure to have a lot of resources for our kids, um, whether it's counselors or MFTs, um, just basic services, we've got everything here. So that's always really nice for our kids. Our relationship with the Santa Maria Police Department and Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office we work hand in hand with each other. You know, there are certain situations that we address and then we sort of hand off if, if, if it's, you know, a little bit more intense. One of the things that, you know, when, when students are, are in these situations, um, we first look at their, their, their need first and, and their care. And, you know, we're not all about expelling kids, but if it has to go that way and it is an expellable offense, then, then we follow that process. The after effects of COVID, I think that those are finally gone. So I think all of us as educators are hoping to have just a really good year. Um, we're introducing some new ethnic gender studies courses this year. We have a lot of Allen Hancock College concurrent courses, and we're really looking forward to getting these kids um, A through G college prep ready. It's a little intimidating at first, but I really want to take advantage of all the opportunities around me and just be able to look around and look back at high school and be like, yeah, I did that. I accomplished that. And I want to just do amazing things. 